Woohoo! Welcome to the other side of India. So today I've checked into a hotel room, um, kind of near the airport and long story short, <laughs> they upgraded me and I'm now in a suite. I can't believe a month has gone by already. Um, I'm definitely at the point where I'm ready to go home so I'm ready to see my family and Ingmar. Ingmar is going to come over to Edinburgh I think at the weekend, maybe it's Thursday, Thursday or Friday. So I've got a few days with the family before he arrives and then we're going to be looking at wedding venues. So it's pretty full on uh, month, couple of months. <laughs> when does life never feel full on though? As you can tell I'm already feeling quite settled in in my dressing gown and my hotel slippers. I have the bath running, I've already ordered some room service. Just a, a point just to point out, this is not extravagant, it's not hugely priced or anything, it is completely budget because I managed to get a last minute deal. Um, I don't know how many of you do this, if this is like a thing, but for my last night I always book like a nice hotel room near the airport so that I can just relax and have a really good night's sleep before the flight. Um, so I looked around on booking.com, why can I not speak, it's like I'm more jet lagged now than when I first started. <laughs> Bookings.com and I found this hotel. I can't remember what it's called. Um, I'll find something. We'll find some headed note paper. It is Piccadilly. Piccadilly New, New Delhi. There we go. Um, so yeah, let me do, give you the room tour. This is a kind of overview of the space. You can see through into the bedroom over there and here a spare bathroom because you need a spare one when you are in a hotel room on your own but yeah this is the studio office area which I will probably not use in the whole time I'm here um, and then it goes through to the bedroom there I've got pretty woman on because um, why not <laughs> this is the sitting room area I couldn't get this TV to actually work uh, so the one in the bedroom works and here's the view outside also not really that interesting view so the pool is down there and um, this is what the hotel looks like and then the highly polluted city of Delhi right the way around to that's the metro station there I'm only here for one night obviously so uh, trying not to make too much of a mess I have the bath running here which is amazing because you can lie in the bath and you know speak to your partner or whatever um, but yeah, this is the bedroom, pretty woman on TV, um, I should put that on mute actually. There we go. Filled up the blind so that I can kind of, um, I was going to watch TV but the taps are at the, the wrong end, they should be at that end and then you can lie and watch TV but anyway. So this is the dressing room area with my stuff getting ready for tomorrow, I've just sent it to the laundrette to get cleaned. This is the actual ensuite. So here we go. Um, here's me in my robe. <laughs> I have my bath running. I have, I actually brought a lush um, bath bomb with me. So that is going to be marvelous. So yeah, basically what happened was I booked a standard room on booking.com, which was just under 50 pounds, I think, including breakfast, which was a really good deal. And when I got here, I checked and there was a wedding going on. It was crazy loud like two in the afternoon and there was just a big party happening um, and I was taken to my room it was a nice a nice room um, but unfortunately you could hear a lot of the traffic outside and there was also some construction work happening in the room upstairs or the roof I'm not sure so I went downstairs explained the situation to the manager and she moved me up to the suite so there we go and um, don't stick with just your standard room if you're not happy with it go and speak to people about it because really it, you're paying good money for it so I mean this is out with my budget that's for sure this is a stretch and it totally is a treat and that's why I'm going to make the most of it so much for a quiet night the wedding has turned into full power as they say here I'll show you you can probably hear the drums but look at the amount of lights I mean it's really cool but when you're trying to get a good night's sleep. I can't decide if it's coming from the hotel or that pink canopy over there. So this is a bit ironic because there's now someone out there singing hey what's going on. <laughs> so she's basically centre of the frame there. 
Now don't get me wrong, I am not antisocial. I have parted my way <laughs> through the south of um, India for the last, I don't know, fortnight at least. Um, but this this was supposed to be my upgrade to the quiet room. <laughs> this is kind of a bit ridiculous. Morning guys! So it is actually my last day in India today. Um, I have just had hotel buffet breakfast which was lovely um, and now I'm just packing up and getting ready to go. I do have like four hours to kind of hang around before I need to go to the airport so I went down to check out the spa area and they have a steam room and there's a pool and so on so I'm going to go off and use that. What have I been doing? I packed so it is relatively neat in the case. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad, full of stuff that I bought at the market. This is my pool bag for just hanging out this afternoon. Books and everything, um, earphones, travel pillow, passport and everything is in my bag. I just got my laundry back and these are my jeans, which I'll try and open them. Yep, so ready to wear today. I went through the paper because they used to have this really cool like matrimonial page. It was really funny to read. I'm sure it was in the Times of India, but I can't seem to find it in there. So maybe it's only online now, but I did use the office area. Um, and through here, I just got back my jacket, which it was disgusting when I handed it in. But I'll show you now. How amazing it looks. It actually looks brand new. Let me try and do it through here. I'll put it on the bed. But it actually looks brand new. Like it was embarrassing handing it in, but it is. I'm so glad I did it. <laughs> I feel like these things are really important when you're traveling to actually look smart. Um, not just, you know, to feel good yourself. Ooh, that is bright. <laughs> Um, but also in the hope of getting an upgrade. So here's a cheeky little nosy at the spa. I mean toilets and all, but there, there's the steam room and I'm going to head out to the pool in a second. Here we go! Abu Dhabi now, um, halfway home, or not really, a quarter of the way, but imagine what it's like to land into Abu Dhabi after um, India, especially Delhi Airport where there's really not very much, to all of this glitz and glam shopping craziness. I will show you. 